to do is just give you an uh, overview of how you can use social media to create your own personal brand. And uh, also to show uh, Kelsey Petrell is one of the examples of how to effectively harness uh, social media and to drive people towards your website. Because when you're looking at uh, search engine optimization, search engine marketing, uh, you want to create a brand that people want to follow and you want to drive people to your website where you can ultimately either have them subscribe to a newsletter or you can capture their information, either have their name and email address at the very least, and then that gives you permission. That's per permission-based marketing that you can um, move forward and you can send them updates. And, you know, people like me, a consumer of uh, real estate services, I, I've lived in my house for 10 years, we hope to live there for another 10 years, but eventually, after someday, I'm going to need to sell. So it's not that frequent. I have some other uh, friends that sell their houses every few years, but it's just like buying a car. We don't do it that often. So when you want to market to someone that doesn't frequently transact with you, the essence of marketing is to get people to know, like, and trust you. And building the brand is something that you can do through social media. Kevin, can you answer that slide? So personal branding through social media is what we're discussing today. And never has it been easier to harness social media than in the last couple of years. I mean, if you look at Facebook, Facebook only uh, emerged for companies in 2006. Uh, LinkedIn has been around uh, for, I think, 2005, but people really started to get on the bandwagon uh, last year. So the, my goal of this presentation is that at the very least you go forth with three things that you can enact starting today to help build your brand. Okay, people often ask me what slideshow presentation I use. Uh, this is Prezi.com. Uh, it's a free service on the web. It's flash-based, so we're not live on the web, but what it does is you can create these really dynamic slideshows, and you can share them with other people. You can use that to, if you have some particular subject that you want to share. You can also download it as a flash-based uh, application. Actually, uh, create a website to convert So thank you all for inviting me this morning. I'm uh, really excited to do this. Uh, I know Tiffany from uh, the National Sales Network. Uh, and there's a lot of pharmaceutical representatives in the National Sales Network. I came from the pharmaceutical industry. And I'm very passionate about salespeople. I think that sales is a great industry. Uh, you know, you can always find a job selling something. Uh, anything that furthers the art of selling, uh, I am a big proponent for, so I actually joined the National Sales Network. But uh, Tiffany liked my presentation, I guess, enough that she invited me to come here and talk to all of you. And uh, what I would like to do is just give you an uh, overview of how you can use social media to create your own personal brand. And uh, also to show uh, Kelsey Petrell is one of the examples of how to effectively harness uh, social media and to drive people towards your website. Because when you're looking at uh, search engine optimization, search engine marketing, uh, you want to create a brand that people want to follow and you want to drive people to your website where you can ultimately either have them subscribe to a newsletter or you can capture their information, either have their name and email address at the very least, and then that gives you permission. That's per permission-based marketing that you can um, move forward and you can send them updates. And, you know, people like me, a consumer of uh, real estate services, I, I've lived in my house for 10 years, we hope to live there for another 10 years, but eventually, after someday, I'm gonna need to sell. So it's not that frequent, I have some other uh, friends that sell their houses every few years, but it's just like buying a car. We don't do it that often. So when you want to market to someone that doesn't frequently transact with you, the essence of marketing is to get people to know, like, and trust you. And building the brand is something that you can do through social media. Kevin, can you answer that slide? Actually, you have to click.
easier to harness social media than in the last couple of years. I mean, if you look at Facebook, Facebook only uh, emerged for companies in 2006. Uh, LinkedIn has been around uh, for, I think, since 2005, but people really started to get on the bandwagon uh, last year. So the, my goal of this presentation is that, at the very least, you go forth with three things that you can enact starting today to help build your brand. Okay, people often ask me what slideshow presentation I use. Uh, this is Prezi.com. Uh, it's a free service on the web. It's flash-based, so we're not live on the web, but what it does is you can create these really dynamic slideshows, and you can share them with other people. You can use that to, if you have some particular subject that you want to share. You can also download it as a flash-based uh, application. The website. <coughs> uh, it's called Prezi.com, P R E Z I.com. Okay, that's my first thing I can take back to my business. Yes, yes. absolutely. You like the cool presentation? <laughs> yes. If, if you are absolutely bored with uh, PowerPoint yeah. or anything like that, I mean, it's all, that's the last thing anyone really wants to do. I, I mean, I've seen a million PowerPoints, and they're all the same. And, you know, people, some people don't know how to present because they put more than six bullet points up there. What I like about this, it's very dynamic. You can zoom in and zoom out. So Prezi is, and that is social networking as well, because you're creating a network. You can embed this on your site. If you were uh, applying it to real estate, you could share top tips yep. as well. Okay, yeah. So what is the essence of a personal brand? This is me. I'm Ed Mayuga. I am a sales professional. I am the owner of a public relations firm called AMM Communications. I own that with my wife. Next slide. So my company, AMM Communications, we are known as the St. Louis-based public relations firm. That is what we put as our tagline on everything. And the reason we want that is because uh, we are a small company. We're not going to pay uh, to show up high on the search link rankings for Google or Bing or anything like that because you know we don't have the resources to do that. Um, since we have branded our company as the St. Louis-based public relations firm, uh, we're actually starting to show up on organic page rank on the second page. My goal is to get on the first page. There are a lot of public relations companies out there, just so that, as I'm sure there's lots of realtors and realty companies out there. What you want to do when you're branding your company is you want to be known as something. And you need to think in terms of what will people search for. Uh, when I decided that we were going to be the St. Louis-based public relations firm, I went to Fleshman Hillard. Fleshman Hillard is the second largest public relations agency in the world. And I just wanted to see what Fleshman Hillard was being called. In print publications, they're known as the St. Louis-based public relations firm. But they refer to them in a passive sense. So we decided to be the St. Louis based public relations firm. So maybe that's the first thing that you could take away from this is that if you're branding you or your company, you want to be known as something. Okay. This is my lovely wife, Anne Marie. Uh, and the name of our company, AMM Communications, is Anne Marie Mayuga. It's, uh, we could say we're American marketing and media, we could say everything, but fundamentally, uh, the company was founded with her. We are the St. Louis-based public relations firm. If you look on our website, we have lots of graphics for uh, the arch and